So I have uh, sketched again the Eglet electrical circuit of uh, a rear transformer. Uh, here one important point is that uh, for an ideal transformer, this voltage is related to this voltage by turns ratio. However, this voltage and this voltage, these are not related to each other by turns ratio. This point is important to remember. Uh, the voltage over here that is related to voltage at this point by turns ratio. Uh, this circuit referred to primary side became this equivalent circuit. So here is the same circuit with all quantities referred to primary side. Uh, this circuit is uh, a little bit difficult to analyze because it involves more loops. If we can somehow reduce the number of loops, then uh, the analysis of this uh, electrical circuit uh, will become easier. So how we can do that? Uh, what we observe is that uh, this, this voltage, what is this resistance? This is resistance of uh, copper windings on the primary side of the transformer. And generally, this winding has very low resistance because it is copper wire. Uh, this resistance will be very small. Likewise, what is this effect? This is effect due to leakage uh, flux. And uh, if you have good design of uh, a transformer, leakage flux uh, will be quite uh, small. And therefore, this whole impedance is very small. This quantity is small, this is small, and this impedance is small. That means that voltage drop across this impedance will be very small. And this implies that this voltage will be approximately equal to this voltage. This voltage drop is very small, therefore this voltage is approximately equal to this voltage. So if uh, I uh, withdraw uh, this branch over here, then there will not be a significant difference. The same current uh, will flow. Here this current, excitation current uh, is flowing and if I draw this branch instead of this location, at this location, then almost the same current will be flowing over here because this voltage is approximately the same as this voltage because this voltage drop is small. So we can redraw this uh, electrical equivalent electrical circuit by so we can equivalently have this equivalent circuit of a real transformer. What we have done is we have moved this branch from this location to this location from here to here. This does not cause significant difference because the voltage over here is approximately the same as voltage over here. So whatever is the current flowing from uh, this branch, almost the same current will be flowing if I uh, sketch it over here. Now we can lump this resistance and this resistance together to have this equivalent electrical circuit of a transformer, simplified equivalent electrical circuit of the transformer. Uh, here uh, the sum of this resistance and this resistance, uh, this is denoted by R equivalent uh, referred to primary circuit, where R equivalent referred to primary side, that is equal to Rp plus A squared uh, Rs. And similarly, this is Jx equivalent refer to primary side where x equivalent refer to primary side that is equal to xp plus a squared xs. So this is simplified equivalent electrical circuit of a transformer. This is uh, less accurate than this one however more easier to analyze and uh, we always uh, make a trade-off trade between accuracy and complexity. Uh, over here, what we have done is we have referred all the quantities to primary side and then obtained a simplified equivalent electrical circuit. We could have also uh, referred all the quantities to the secondary side and could have obtained an equivalent electrical circuit referred to secondary side. So the procedure is quite similar. Uh, you can do it uh, as a homework.
so I leave uh, that part uh, for your homework. Uh, another a little bit more simplification that can be uh, done in this equivalent electrical circuit is that uh, if we have good design of the transformer, this excitation current will be uh, very very small. So if uh, you further simplify this equivalent electrical circuit, this will be this one. We can just ignore this part because this resistance is very high. This in inductive reactance is very high uh, and this current is very small. So we can just omit this branch from the equivalent circuit. So we will have this uh, further simplified equivalent electrical circuit. However, this is even much less accurate than this one. Uh, generally, we, we shall be using this equivalent circuit for uh, our course, uh, our analysis in this course.